Hello there boys and girls, my name is Paul Verizes and welcome to my Clue Scroll Iron Man series hound hunt, where the aim is extremely simple, obtain the Bloodhound pet, starting on a fresh level 3 Iron Man account. If you're new around the channel and fancy catching up on all of the progress that we've made so far, then feel free to check out the video description for a link to the series playlist as well as a full list of the series rules. But as always guys, sit back, relax and I hope you enjoy today's episode. Hello there everyone and welcome back to episode number 28 of my Clue Scroll Iron Man series Hound Hunt. But just in case you didn't catch the last episode, we once again made some solid progress on the Hard Clue tier, ticking off a further 9 unique rewards with 55 caskets cracked open in total, which means we're actually now only 12 new uniques off of reaching 50% of the Hard Clue collection log done and therefore unlocking elite Clue Scrolls. And we also managed to find the 7th Armadil Page 2 last episode as well, which I thought was pretty cool and definitely worth mentioning. But to be honest with you boys and girls, I think this account RNG has officially now been entirely used up as we also managed to pick up another 1 in 32,000 smoldering stone from the Hellhounds last episode as well, which is just insane. I never expected to get one, let alone two. But anyway, let's see just how true that statement is with these first 10 caskets of today's episode and uh, let's see if I can make a dent in those 12 remaining uniques. There we- oh wait! Armadil, but I didn't even realize. I thought that was a regular room plate scale. That might be a two in one there. I'm pretty certain it is. I know for a fact these are. But is this new as well? There we go! Oh my god, we only need 10 more already. What an absolutely perfect start to the episode. Let, there we go. And that, and that is going to be the main goal for today's episode, if uh, that is possible. I think that's another one as well. I don't think we've got a Black Cavalier. There we go, nine more. Jesus, three clues in, three uniques. Let's go, boys. I mean... <laughs> I, like, I came into this episode thinking if we can uh, unlock elites by the end of it, that would be amazing. But we've made a pretty decent start on that already. Gothic's Koi, pretty certain we already do have that, so I'm not going to get too excited, but we will double check. Yep, that is the second one of those already. But, like, I can't really complain. Three uniques already. Um, nothing there. And the last one for now. Jeez, now that is exactly the kind of start that I was looking for. And like I said, the main goal for today's episode is going to be to reach that 50% completion and therefore finally unlock the Elite Clue tier. And also guys, something that I completely forgot to mention is that we're most likely going to unlock our first Clue Scroll Milestone reward on the account this episode as well. As after 300 hard clues completed, you unlock the Yuri Transformer mode, which will be really, really cool to have on the account. That is, unless we somehow get insanely lucky and get 9 new unique rewards before before we hit 300 hard clues. Pretty cool location for clue 261. Another pair of Armadil Dehyde boots. I will take that. We got one of those last episode as well. Adds a nice little bit of bank value. Can't really complain, I guess. Last casket for tonight. Can we make it something good? Another peaceful blessing. Not really what I had in mind when I said good. Just woke up. First casket of the day for a pair of ancient dehyde boots. Now, I don't think we've got them. Let's go have a look. Jeez, that's two pairs of dehyde boots in two clues. But anyway, let's see if that is a new one. I think it is. I don't think we have much ancient dehyde. And there we go. There, oh my god, only eight left to go. Here we go. Last two to take us up to clue 270. And then I'll go back to bigger stacks. First off, another war blessing. Not really in need of that. And lastly, big old stinker. So I'm not really too sure what that guy was doing ranging in full initiate, but I guess it doesn't take too much gear to kill dark crab fishes, but I'll take a free uh, 250k. So it's been a few more hours now of absolutely slapping hellhounds on the noggin, and I've made my way back to Catherby, so you guys can already guess what's about to go down. 10 more hard caskets have been acquired, and I realised if I can average 2 uniques per 10 clues, then we should unlock elites just after 300 hard clues. So let's see if we can cross any more off. Starting off very, very generic, not really uh, anything that I'm after. Another Gothics page, plenty of them already sitting in the back. However, we do get ourselves a Rune Kite Shield T, which I already know is a duplicate, as we have finished the entire Rune T set, so uh, nothing really to get too excited about yet. Six more, though. Can we get anything good? Some more Charged Dragonstone Jewelry Scrolls, like I always say, uh, very, very useful for refilling my glories. Uh, Twelve uh, Purple Sweets back to back there, but not really what I want. Sara page. They always troll me because they're such a similar shade to the Armadil page. And of course, it's a Sara page 3. 
God damn it, man. However, Gothic Bracers, that is 100% new. There we go. That is one ticked off. Can we get anything on the last one? We cannot. Bunch of Alcables. So I'm not going to lie, guys. I've been grinding pretty hard already today, and we're at well over 7,000 Hellhounds slain in total now. And I've once again acquired myself another fat stack of caskets, so hopefully I can do a little better than those last 10. But saying that one unique in 10 caskets is a lot better um, than zero. Gothic's plate legs. Potentially new. I don't think I've got too much uh, guthics yet. Well, uh, well, apparently we do actually. The only thing that we're missing is the plate body. Never mind. Don't remember getting all that much, but okay, there is another duplicate. Like I said, always uh, going to be expected at this stage. Can't really complain. Of course, it's another Sora page three. <laughs> Like I was saying in that last clue opening, every time I get a Sara page, it trolls me for half a second because it's uh, quite a similar colour. However, is that the last piece? Was it the body that we need? Oh no, it wasn't. It was the uh, the chaps. Oh my god. God damn it. We nearly had the full Zami outfit. Oh my god. Oh, 900k though. I suppose I can't really be too upset at that. Nothing in that one. More purple sweets to the collection. Okay. <laughs> Okay, so we just got Sarah page three. Come on, game. Give me the final armadillo page. <laughs> okay, I'm not going to be mad. Just move on. Just move on. Don't say anything. It's okay. Another pair of Zamorak boots as well. Completely fine. More bank total. And we get ourselves another armadillo body. Ah! I didn't even clock it. In my utter blinding rage of getting yet another couple of duplicates, I completely missed that we got a Zamorok Crozier in the same clue as those Zamorok boots, which, thank God, is a new unique, meaning that we only have six more to go now, so unless some kind of miracle happens, it looks like we'll be getting the Yuri Transformer mode before we unlock Elites. And to be fair, all of these duplicate God Dehyde pieces are really pushing the bank value up, closing in on 100 mil in total now, jeez. So whenever I stack up a bunch of clues, I get way too impatient to do it again for a while, so I'm going to do a few individually, so here here comes clue 286 for some Alcables. Whilst I was completing this clue, I bumped into the boys Tanzo and Vitoso in Edge Bank. Their Godsword Set from Scratch series is probably my favourite series on YouTube right now. Used to love Runechuck's original one back in the day as well, so go check it out if you haven't. But anyway, enough waffle. Give me a new unique. Are you kidding me? Another <laughs> <Not a> bear. <laughs> Of bloody gothic plate legs. Shortly after his clue two a a four some <laughs> blue dehyde chaps G. I'm a hundred percent sure that is new and also a uh, magic combo. And by the way, in that last clip, I wasn't laughing at the blue dehyde chaps G. It's because when I went to have a look at the price check down in the chat, I clocked this cheeky boy's name right here. Thank God that clue wasn't another stinker though. Can we get the back to back? No, we can't. And here we go, last solo one for now. Oh, oh my god, 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 no, no, oh my god, 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 my heart is racing. Oh, oh my god, oh my god, I've never had a bees of third age before, oh, I can't believe that, I can't believe that's just happened, I can't believe that's just happened, oh, I'm, I'm literally shaking, I have no idea what to say, first of all, let's check to see if this is new as well, was that a two in one, it was, <laughs> oh my god, oh my god, um, I'm lost for words, guys. That is amazing. That is sick. I mean, I think we know what's making a fashion scape appearance at the end of the episode. 17 mil. Oh, my God. Please, I've, oh my, I've literally just been standing here staring at this thing for the best part of 10 minutes now. I can't believe that I've just got a third age full helm on my Iron Man. Seriously, what is this account's luck? This is insane. Oh man, I'm so happy right now. I wish you guys could see the smile that's on my face at the moment, but I've been grinding the Hellhound so, so hard every single day for the best part of two weeks now, and to get a piece of third age just makes all of those hours so worth it. So I think it's very safe to say the moral for today's episode, guys, is always do your clue scrolls. You never know what's going to happen. And we're right back at the Hellhounds again for level 85 attack. And also, guys, I reckon now would be a pretty appropriate time to mention, since we are so close to unlocking elites now, 
So unlike with other previous tiers of Clue, to advance from Elites to Masters, we actually only need to complete 25% of the Elite Clue collection log instead of the normal 50%. I made this choice all the way back at the start of the series. As for you guys that don't know, 40 of the potential 98 Elite Clue unique rewards are on the Mega Rare table, and even though we did just luck out to the absolute maximum and pull a piece of 3rd H from a hard clue, it's extremely unlikely that we'll see anything off that Mega Rare table for hundreds of Elite Clues. That combined with the fact that Elite Clues will take substantially longer to obtain when compared to hard clues, even 25% of the Elite Clue log is going to be a massive challenge, but like I said before, it's a challenge that I'm really looking forward to taking on. I can't really complain at another 200k. So you're telling me that my membership runs out. Oh my god, as this guy attacks me, I can't log in on my other account. That is, oh, that is something else. So even though technically the dig site should now be our new lucky spot for opening clues since we picked up this beautiful thing there, I can't betray Cathby, man. She's been kind to us over the episodes. And also it would make opening any more than five caskets at a time hard since there isn't a bank there. But anyway, I've gone and got myself a final 10 caskets to finish off today's episode. And we could very well unlock elites here if we do end up getting lucky and tick off three new uniques from these caskets. But at the same time, even if we don't, these final 10 will take us perfectly up to 300 total hard clues on the account and therefore unlock the the Yuri Transformer mode, which I guess is a pretty cool consolation. Alright, no more stalling. Final 10 for the episode. Can we do it? Starting off some Felled Up Hills teleports. Not a unique... Oh my god. That could potentially be two. Oh. <laughs> oh, okay, okay. Let's see. I'm pretty sure this is new. Oh my god. If we can finish this here, get the Yuri Transformer mode. Get a piece of third age and unlock uh, elites all in one episode. I don't think I could ever top this. I think I said that a few episodes ago, but I mean we haven't done it yet. We've got seven more. Come on, please. I'm gonna play buddy. Oh, maybe, maybe, maybe. Yes, we. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> so, oh, I'm not gonna lie. I really wasn't actually expecting to get three new uniques from these. Like I was thinking maybe one or two, but. There we go, guys. That is Elite Unlocked on clue 294. And we've got six uh, bonus clues to celebrate, I guess, to take us up to 300. What the hell, man? Ancient Dehyde body, uh, Sara plate body. Pretty sure I've already got the Sara plate body. However, I'm not sure if we do have the ancient one. Oh, God, didn't mean to click that. Is that another one? Gee, well, there we go. I mean, <laughs> adding uh, some extra percent, I guess. I'll take it. What an absolute stinker. Moving past that one, uh, another stinker. But it doesn't matter in the slightest. Magic combo. Uh, another zombie head, okay, I guess that's uh, another one to the collection, 18k and 20k on these, but like I said, do not care, and the final clue for this episode, clue number 300 for an absolute pile of slime, but I don't care in the slightest, look at me man, oh my god, what an episode, <laughs> It just kind of hit me. I am finally free of the Hellhounds after weeks of absolutely slapping them around the head. I'm so happy. I really hope you guys have enjoyed this episode and I'm not sure if I can ever top this one. Well, actually saying that, I guess the episode where we do end up getting the Bloodhound is going to be a pretty cool episode, I'd hope. And it is done, boys and girls. Once again, here is the Hard Clue Uniques tab ordered to the order of where the items appear in the collection log. And I'm not going to lie, it looks so cool having a piece of third age as one of the tab items along the top. If that's not a flex, I don't know what it is. But anyway, let's have one final slow scroll of the whole tab, as we'll probably not be looking at it all that much in the upcoming episodes. But I have to say, I think we did a pretty good job on this one, boys. Definitely my favourite tab so far. So after a little bit of thinking, I figured there's only one appropriate place to finish off today's episode. Back at the dig site once again. But for the final hard clue fashion skate for today, I've kind of gone for an outfit that we rocked a few episodes ago now. But with one minor change, if you could say minor that is. And I just realised this thing looks so much like an upgraded version of the Iron Man helm. You guys already know what's about to go down. Let's have a little peek in the collection log to track the progress that we've made over today's episode. So we kicked off this one on 67 out of 158 hard clue uniques ticked off. And we are currently sitting on a whopping 80, meaning 13 new hard clue uniques were checked off in 50 caskets, and therefore elites have now been unlocked, ready to take on in the next episode. And we're all 
already doing pretty good, I guess. One unique with the zero caskets open. <laughs> Man, who would have thought I would get myself a piece of bloody third age before I find this final armadillo page? God damn it, man. But anyway, boys and girls, that is going to be all from me for today's episode of Hound Hunt. I really hope you enjoyed watching this one just as much as I did making it. So if you did... Oh my god. So if you did and you haven't yet, a big old like on the video would be very much appreciated. It really make my day. But until next time, guys, as always, stay safe and I'll see you very soon.